Welcome to Real Magic Review, my name is Steve Faulkner and this is Refilled by Henry Harrius. Before I do this review, I'd like to go and have a look at onlinemagic.co. God blimey, have a look at the reviews of it on Trustpilot, why don't you? And, uh, and the testimonials on it. People are loving it, and quite right so. It took me a lot of work, thanks. I'm glad about it. Um, have a look at it, that'll be great. 600 videos, live sessions every week, and tonight Andy Gladwin's coming, yay, because it's our 100th live session. That will mean nothing if you're watching this four weeks or even a year odd down the line, but there you go. Um, but the good thing is, even if you join now, you'll be able to go back and watch it because they're all uploaded. Right, uh, and like and subscribe. Always forget that bit. If you like it, you want to subscribe to it and share it with your friends. Even verbally would be wonderful. Probably even better than on the line. Refilled by Henry Harrius. It's by Henry Harrius, so biased review. I'm probably going to like it. I don't think he's released anything I don't like yet. Because uh, he knows what he's doing. And this, but this isn't a new effect, right? This isn't a... We know the effect, well, a lot of you won't know the effect if you're new to the game, but it's a classic effect. And I was just reading a, a version of the Vanishing Coke bottle from David Acker's Random Acts of Magic, which is great, which is similar, but that's where you do like a spellbound move with the Coke bottle top, and it changes to a beer bottle top, and then you pull the beer bottle out. And that's very apt because this is not a Coke bottle like the classic version is usually. It's a beer bottle. This is good for various reasons. Uh, it kind of, the the reason, well, one of the reasons Henry does this and he would usually do it with a Coke bottle is because the Coke bottles were becoming more and more hard to find. Therefore, people uh, weren't as familiar with that classic shape. Now, it doesn't mean the trick's not going to work if you've already got Nielsen Coke bottles, but there is something nice about doing this with a beer bottle. Now, I don't want to say there's something cool about it because alcohol's not cool, kids, but there's something fitting to it. Uh, when you're in certain venues and especially you know th these are bottles that are available in all bars and clearly all over the world because i'm in the uk uh henry isn't <laughs> so i presume they're available there as well and america and etc so it's a it's a bit more universal and of course the coke bottles are as well but as i said you might uh get a bit of a challenge trying to find them so that's that and of course Henry Harris, being Henry Harris, wants this to be a quality item, and it certainly is. I think it's okay to give a couple of things. I think we, as magicians, and there aren't going to be many lay people watching this, know how this is done, but I'll kind of talk around it. What I will say that you get the gimmick, you get a bottle opener, genuine bottle opener, but he says sometimes it's hard to get one that looks nice, and it's nice that you get it. It means you can pretty much go straight out of the box, other than going and have to buy a beer. So if you're under 18, that may be an issue. But, um, and you also get the stickers. So we, to make it look like a proper Corona bottle, you're gonna have to replace the stickers. He says about every 10 times. I have now performed this five times. It's still on there. It's starting to look a bit raggy, but you've got a load of stickers in. I think it's 10. Don't quote me on that for the front and back. You might not have to use the ones on the back because um, you don't, people don't really see it. And you also get a, a choice of having a bottom on the bottle as well, which you may want to do. It is a little convincer, but I didn't bother. I did a couple with a couple without, and it didn't really matter. So the important thing is it's a quality item. It looks good close up. Important when you're doing stuff like this, because when if you've never done this sort of thing, you're going to be conscious, you know, because it is there is a giveaway with this. If you look really, really closely, you'll squeeze it, of course, pick it up. Uh, and I would say the good thing is, I'm going to contradict myself, because if you look closely, there isn't a giveaway. If you keep it clean, as he says, uh, just with water and a towel, it's going to be absolutely fine. And as you'll see from the footage, I performed it super, super, super close up, and there was no suspicion whatsoever. So it's an updated version of the Norm Nielsen bottle. It's really good quality. It's a Corona bottle, and it's a brilliant routine. Why is it a brilliant routine? Well, it's... Really easy to understand, isn't it? People aren't going to go, well, he did a thing with a bottle. What did he do with that bottle? They're going to say he you know, had an empty bottle and then it was a full bottle and then the, it, we don't know how that's done. I don't know if I'll say that, that bit. <laughs> I kind of got a bit stoked then. Didn't know what to say. But they might say, I wonder how that's done. I don't know. Uh, but anyway, that's the point. It's easy to remember and that rule about people being able to kind of remember it well and it's having a very simple concept is great. The other thing is, it's very visual. Anything with a bottle is visual. It's a big thing. It's not a tiny little magic trick. It doesn't happen down here. 
Never all tricks that do, but it happens here. So it's great for Parler, and he says he does it in Parler. Well, he does because there's footage of him doing so, actually on stage. Uh, it works close up. It does work close up with a table. I've just done it, so it does work. And it works on big stages as well. And it is a great opener for many reasons. It's visual, there's lots of room for playing it, and it's easy. And that's why there's lots of room for playing it, because you're not thinking, I want to get this right. You, after a little bit of practice, you're going to be able to go out and do it, and then you can relax and have a nice time. I will say, even though it's not difficult, you are going to have to practice it, because when you turn the bottle over and do all the convincing stuff, you, you've got that requires that you, you've got to understand how that feels. I wouldn't get out of the box, watch the video and the download and go and do it. You have got to practice it just to feel comfortable and just feel comfortable putting the bottle in and out. He has obviously done a similar thing with a Cuban bottle, and that's the same thing. You have to feel comfortable and confident, and you know. Even if a trick's really easy, I still get a bit nervous doing it, as I did. But it's, it, I very quickly overcame that. It's, it's a lovely, safe bet. You can't really go wrong with it. And that's why, thankfully, the download is only like 25 minutes and not three and a half hours, like some people do, to kind of get, 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 squeeze a load of stuff out of it. There is a, sep, uh, a kind of extension of the routine where you can get two Corona bottles out, which I think would be great for stage. Works really well, but the, the first one is great. His routine is like he does this double kind of fake thing of kind of going, and then it comes back again, and then he does that again, and then he does the big reveal. You, don't, you can cut the middle bit out and just kind of do the first bit and the last bit and, and do a quick version of it if you like. But it's great. I love it. I've had a really lovely time. I went out and about. As you see in the... You've got to understand when I go out and about, I'm walking into people's places of work and going, can I do a magic trick? And they're going, what? Oh, right, he's here again. And they're kind of being nice and letting me show them. The responses to the tri this trick are going to be way better than me walking into a cafe interrupting people. And some of the people I showed the trick to, they didn't know me until I'd introduced myself. And this was like 11 o'clock in the morning. So, and the, the builders were also uh, doing my neighbour's garden. I sort of grabbed them on their lunch break as well. So don't look at something and think, oh, the responses aren't great. That's just normal people doing normal things, being kind to me, letting them film a magic trick. Um, but the, the feedback from everybody afterwards genuinely was they had no idea and they thought it was great. So you can't get better feedback than from a load of lay people that have just seen a trick in a really weird situation. So that's refilled by Henry Harrius. Great fun, great product uh, and a classic routine. So use the links below. Thank you to Henry for sending that to me. Uh, you get the bags as well, I think. I got them, but that, yeah, but check on the site. Hit the link, it will tell you everything you need to know there. So uh, thanks very much. Like and subscribe, check out onlinemagic.co and have a great one. Cheers.